Okay, since I've got a little bit of a cold here, a little bit of laryngitis, not really a good voice for singing, but a good voice for mocking people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like I'm Christy Blasey Ford. There was something happy to me here as a kid. At some party that I didn't know when you went to a party there was boys and girls there. Oh, nobody told me. So my question now is, do you believe me? Does that sound realistic to you? Okay, I'm going to pose my questions to you, or my accusations, I shall say, in two different voices. The boys at CBC, they lied to me for two years, making me think they were on my page and on my side, and so I gave and I gave and I gave. Then after I found out that they were liars, they wouldn't give me back my money. Okay, how's that? Or, in 2014... I discontinued my relationship with Community Bible Church because I found out after two years that they do not believe in certain parts of the Bible. They believe that some of those have been completed, or I should say obsoleted, by the completion of the Bible itself. So the Bible is redacting itself, is turning back around on its heels and eating itself alive after it was completed. By the way, they are unable to provide the actual date and time that that completion took place. My question to them being, well, what was going on when this happened? Were there prophecies being uh, spoken? Were there healings being done? What exactly happened when that completion of the Bible that discompleted the rest of the Bible occur? If I say it in that tone of voice, will you believe me? If I said it in a singing tone of voice, would you believe me? What would it make for you to believe me? If I am giving the truth, regardless of the tone of voice, the look of my face, my curvature of my spine, because I'm not a jellyfish anymore, would you believe me? Or should I go ahead and go back to the uh, doormat philosophy, whereas I just have to present it in such a kind way that you believe me? Okay, your call.